There's a good chance you've heard the term 5G before, but maybe you don't exactly know what it is or why you should even care. In this video, I'm going to explain what 5G is, demonstrate just how fast Verizon's 5G ultra wideband is, which is already available in parts of select cities, and tell you some of the real world implications that this technology is going to have. It's pretty incredible. Thanks to Verizon for partnering with me on this video. So to start, what is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation of wireless technology for cellular networks. Here's a quick history lesson. First came 1G, which those big brick cell phones used back in the day. You can only really make calls on 1G. Then 2G enabled data transfers over cellular. Things like voicemail and text messages became possible. Fun fact, the original iPhone was the first and only iPhone on the 2G network. Then 3G expanded on 2G, ushering in the smartphone era of the early 2010s. Then 4G followed with actual usable internet browsing with things like social media, ride sharing apps, and streaming video things we are all accustomed to having in our lives today. And the next frontier, 5G, is just about here. It's the latest and greatest for a number of reasons. All of this wireless technology is built on the electromagnetic spectrum using different frequencies of radio waves. 5G can be broken down into three sort of sections of waves. There's the low band, there's the mid band, and then there's the high band, also known as millimeter wave. Verizon 5G ultra wideband utilizes spectrum in the 28 gigahertz range and in the 39 gigahertz range. They use these higher frequencies because they provide astronomical mobile speeds. But the trade-off is that they don't travel as far and they don't penetrate buildings as well as the lower frequencies do. That's why if your neighbor is blasting music, you can usually hear that bass thumping, but you can't really hear the vocals or any of the higher frequencies. I'm currently at Zuccotti Park, located in downtown Manhattan, where Verizon's 5G ultra wideband is lit up. I'm gonna run a few speed tests to show you how fast it really is. With speeds like this, doing everyday actions with your smartphone becomes orders of magnitude faster. I can download an entire season of a TV show in under a minute. I can save a playlist offline faster than you can name every song on that playlist. I can certainly watch YouTube videos in high resolution with super minimal buffering. Aside from the mind-blowing speeds, 5G offers another huge benefit for mobile computing, and that is low latency. Latency is the time it takes for a signal being sent to it being received. I'm sure you've experienced it before where you tap on a song and it takes a few seconds to start playing, or you tap to load an attachment in an email and it takes longer than you'd like. Current latency in 4G devices is about 40 milliseconds to about 60 milliseconds, whereas latency in 5G is about half of that, and it's expected to decrease further over time. With latency dramatically reduced, technologies that were only thought to be possible in science fiction movies can become reality. Aside from data speeds on smartphones, there are other ways 5G can impact your life. Think of autonomous vehicles, for example. Imagine a city that's lit up with 5G nodes everywhere, and every car on the road is connected to an ultra-fast, ultra-low latency 5G network. That would mean these cars would be driving autonomously, and they'd be communicating synchronously with ultra-low lag. Reaction time required for a car to detect a slowdown or maneuver around an obstruction in the road is absolutely critical for this to actually work. And with 5G, this future is being worked on today. Another example where low latency with a high speed 5G connection makes a real world difference is with remote surgeries or telesurgeries. Let's say you need a procedure done, but you live hundreds or thousands of miles away from where the doctor that specializes in those procedures operates. Doctors can control a robot or a machine to perform surgery remotely across the country. Verizon is already testing this technology to explore the capabilities of remote surgery. There's a documentary called Speed of Thought that demonstrates this tech. I've linked it below so you can watch. Another example of how low latency 5G can make a difference is if you're watching live sports in VR. The amount of data that needs to be transmitted for you to receive a full 360 high quality video feed is a lot. And you want all of that data to be delivered to your eyeballs as fast as possible so you can see the action as it happens in real time. You wanna see that goal scored before your friends go crazy in the group chat, spoiling the end of the game because your connection isn't great. And this goes beyond live sporting events. Verizon recently launched an exclusive data intensive app 
that enables you to stream five synchronized camera angles of things like concerts or performances. It's called MultiView Experience, and it sort of modernizes the idea of television on your mobile phone. I'm working on a separate video about that app. So those are just some of the ways that 5G will have an impact on your life in the near future. Aside from the world-class speeds that Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband in particular offers for phones, we'll soon see a more connected and safer world, enabling new experiences that enhance your day-to-day -day routine, from your commute to meetings to entertainment and beyond. If you learned something in this video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching.